Now to more breaking news at 10. You are looking live in the loop. This is looking west on Washington at Dearborn Daily Plaza to the right side of your frame. And that is a live picture of a very busy night in downtown Chicago. Hundreds of cars honking, folks on their feet shooting fireworks off with the Mexican flags there robustly waving in the Saturday night sky. The celebrations are creating chaos for some downtown this Saturday night. Let's get live to CBS 2's Darius Johnson. If he can hear us, he is in the loop with a look at everything that's going on. Darius, good evening. Hey there, Chris. Surprisingly, I can hear you right here from that intersection that you all were just taking that shot from right here at Washington and Dearborn. I'm on the ground outside the CBS 2 studios right now and look at the crowd right here behind me at least about another block down. You can see the Mexican flags that are waving within the air. There are crowds of upwards of at least more than 100 people. Many of them, you can see them coming right through the street right now on scooters, on bicycles, but also you see Chicago police manning that intersection right there as they are trying to keep the crowd calm. I can tell you that everything started around 630. That is when Chicago police and the Office of Emergency Management decided to close the central business district to incoming traffic, trying to prevent a lot of these large crowds from entering the downtown area. This happened about two hours earlier than last night when they forced the closures once the celebration made it right here to the Chicago Loop. Tonight's closures are spanning from DuSable Lakeshore Drive and Halsted and then from Division to 18th Street. You can see Chicago police are out in full force blocking off access to many of these neighborhoods, but some were able to bypass those blockades to celebrate Mexican Independence Day. Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. Once those patriotic revelers made it to downtown, you can hear it got very loud. Many of them chanting, celebrating their independence, hunking horns and making sound with anything they could get their hands on. That even includes an unplanned and illegal fireworks show outside of Daly Plaza and some burned rubber or some burned a little rubber to make the crowd go wild. Of course, if you're celebrating, you have to eat, even if it means grilling on the back of a truck. The biggest nuisance of of all the traffic as you can see cars can be seen lining the streets for block many of those car caravans some people even getting out of their cars starting to parade their way around downtown holding mexico's flight with prague that left traffic at a standstill back out here live right now you can still see that large presence that is further back down this is right here in the intersection of dearborn and washington you can see some are even standing right there on top of that CTA bus stop. While we're talking about those CTA bus stops, we know that all of those CTA buses have been impacted by the closures down here as well. None of those buses are running from Halsted to the lakefront and then from Chicago Avenue to Cermak. Last night, a lot of these closures were wrapped up around 2.30 in the morning. As of now, there is no word on when things will wrap up tonight. For now, that's the very latest outside the CBS 2 studios here in Washington and Dearborn. I'm Darius Johnson, CBS 2 News. A great recap, a scene that's unfolding in many neighborhoods tonight. Darius, thanks so much.